look at this. This is the definition of pure wonder. The great circus mystery staring Mickey and Minnie has this old world to enjoy before you start every level. I can't count how many times as a kid I just stared at this picture without playing the levels. Several seconds, if not minutes. So simple and yet so effective. I never managed to complete the game as a kid and always daydreamed about what the final level looks like in the game. It has to be magical. The northern lights glinting in the distance and the majestic castle on the top. I never owned the Great Circus Mystery, but borrowed it several times from my local playtime store. 30 years later, I have now finally bought it. Now it's time to see the last levels I dreamed of as a child. Let's finally complete the game. But before we do that, let's quickly open the package and see the condition on the game. It looks very good. You, you have to remember that this game is back from 1994, 95. So it's crazy that it's, look this amazing. Okay, so it's missing actually the the box around the catches, but I have a lot of extra and we get uh, some commercial poster. I like that. And we have an N64 uh, commercial poster as well. That's interesting. And Game Boy Color. <laughs> I love that. We have the catches itself and it looks absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see with English, English text here on the back. Amazing. Great quality. And then we have the instruction booklet. It's hard to find instruction booklet back from the Super Nintendo era where they are in this good shape, um, especially when it has been opened. So it makes me so happy to see that every side on the instruction booklet is in mint condition. It might come as a surprise to some of you, but the Magical Quest Staring Mickey Mouse is actually one of my favorite games ever. This game is the sequel, which is why I borrowed it so many times when I was a kid. But why did I never complete it then? Because the sequel is a lot more difficult than the first one. As in the first game, there is a big focus on the costumes that you get during your journey. You get the ability to vacuum up enemies, to swing and climb on things, and last but not least become a cowboy riding his trusty horse. The last mentioned costume I never learned to master, and always felt the game fail on that point. Is the cowboy bad? No, definitely not. I think the reason I didn't like it as a kid was because it was more technical to use. You can shoot, jump high and bash with it, which requires a lot of Nintendo power skills. <laughs> My favorite is the climbing costume, which lets you swing around from levels to levels like a Spider-Man. It is incredibly satisfying to master, and I used it as often as possible. All in all, the upgrade is much better than in the first game, which I didn't think as a child, but they are. In the first game, you could completely avoid using them in most levels, but here in the second game, there are times when it requires you to have the right costume, and the game makes good use of it. The music is terrific, but especially the sound effects are top class. Try to hear the sound effect that comes when you jump on top of enemies. So satisfying. The environments of the levels are very different from each other. It goes from circus to jungle, haunted house, caves and much more. You just want to explore every corner, which also benefits you with coins, extra life and hidden shops where you can buy hot containers and other important things. Because yes, it's important to explore, as this game provides a good challenge. There are only 6 levels, but each level is long and full of magical moments. 
Other than that, you can play as mini and co-op, which is a lot of fun. Is the story important? No. <laughs> In fact, try not to think too much about the story, because, well, it makes no sense. The game is called The Great Circus Mystery, but it's only the first level that takes place in a circus and has no deep mystery parts. In fact, the game doesn't talk about the circus part after level 2, so don't expect some big mystery to be solved. But who the fuck cares anyway, because here we are talking about pure gaming pleasure, from start to finish. It's hard to find better platforming games than this, and Capcom shows again that they are masters at handling Disney games. I have now completed the game during my review, and I'm already want to restart the game and play it all over. The Great Circus Mystery starring Mickey and Minnie is a masterpiece, and should be played by all who love platformers. This, this is pure gaming magic. Don't miss it. Masterpiece. Damn. Thank you so much everyone for watching the whole video. This was Stanky from the P-Wing. Purple love to you all. Bye.